Okay, there is a few videos on YouTube showing you how to drop the tank and replace the fuel pump on the TJ. But I have an 06 and there are some differences, so I want to go through those differences with you guys. On the older models of TJ, I think 04 through 97, there is a plastic ring that seals the fuel pump to the tank. And it's basically a threaded ring that you just spin on over top of the the fuel pump there and it, it basically holds it into the tank. On the 06 model, I don't know if it did it on the 05 or not, but definitely the 06, there is a metal ring and there's metal clasps on the tank over there and you have to really hit that son of a bitch hard to get it off. And then uh, once it popped off, I really noticed that the, the fuel pump was spring loaded. <laughs> so I guess that keeps the pump all the way in the bottom of the tank. Uh, the second thing that I noticed that was different was on the bottom of the fuel pump there's no strainer. It's basically a huge filter built right into the bottom of the fuel pump. Uh, I actually, I'm not replacing this fuel pump. It's still the factory one and it's in good shape so I'm not worried about replacing that. The reason why I pulled the, the fuel tank off was to find out why I can't get any fuel into my Wrangler without it cutting off. And I read and read and read and read different uh, things where people either had fuel spilling out and spitting on them, which it did do to me once when I first bought it. And then there was a, a problem where you couldn't get any fuel into the tank. Every time you tried to get it into the tank, it would just click off. And that's the problem that I was having. I guess it got stuck in the, the up position, which is this valve right here. This valve is actually in the filler neck of the fuel tank. And what happens is uh, these little, little, uh, flanges on the side, let's get it to the light so to focus, those little notches right there swell up over time with the ethanol and the fuel. And I don't know why Jeep didn't think about this in 06, and I guess uh, there wasn't really enough ethanol in the fuel back then to worry about it, or they didn't know what was going to happen. But what you got to do, I, I watched another video on YouTube, and basically you got to take a Dremel or some sandpaper and you got to Dremel those little notches down because they expand it with the ethanol and it won't allow it to slide. And I'll give you guys kind of an example of what's going on here. Let's try to hard to get this thing back together with one hand, which was what was happening to the guy in the other video too. He was trying to hold the, the camera and you know film what was going on one time. Okay, so there it is in the full up position. And basically what happens is when you're putting fuel into the tank. So there it is into the, the full upright position. And that keeps uh, fuel from spilling back out, I guess, if, in case of a rollover or in case of uh, an overfill of the tank. But what happens is I think uh, people overfill the tanks and fuel actually sits on this piece. And it swells up so that when it pushes down, you can see mine, mine got stuck right there, which is like half open. And what, that, what happens there is only that little bit of area right there is letting fuel get through. And it's, it's just clicking off like every five cents, ten cents of gas, and it takes me about an hour to fill my tank up. So I finally just got tired of it, dropped the tank, which was not the easiest task in the world on these 06s. And uh, I found the issue, and you can see it as I'm pushing, it's still getting stuck. Uh, right there, it's, it's getting stuck in the open position, but it would uh, allow fuel in. Mine was stuck halfway, right about there. So the, the fuel isn't actually enough to push that push that down before it backs up and shuts the pump off. And another problem that I had with the 06, I, don't, I didn't notice it on earlier models, the EVAP stuff, there's a connection right here that everyone says you have to take off. Uh, that one right there, and it says it requires a fuel disconnect line to get that off of there. And if you take that off and drop the tank, this line's still connected all the way across the tank over to the uh, filler neck. So it doesn't make any sense to take this one off here. Uh, you can just go up into the passenger side wheel well on the back and just disconnect it from the, the DVAC canister. And the way that one disconnects, I don't want to show this on a video before, there's basically a little plastic piece that goes in here. And once you push the line in, you push that plastic piece in and it holds that line from coming back out. And actually, I didn't know how to get it out properly, so as you notice, I broke mine in half. Uh, it will still work. It's not a big deal. I can just put each half back in to hold the, the 
the line back onto the evap canister, which isn't the biggest deal in the first place. I mean, if it gets a leak, it's going to give me a trouble code, but then I'll worry about replacing it then. Probably a dealer part, which I have to order or find somewhere in the junkyard. But just wanted to show that to you guys. That's another problem that you'll have when you drop this tank. And here's the metal clips that hold that metal ring on. And I'm telling you, I was hitting this thing pretty hard with a hammer. So this thing must be plastic welded in there pretty good. But uh, it, it was it took me about 20 minutes just to get that ring off of there. I don't know if it's because of all the sand that's around there or not, but I, I'm definitely not looking forward to taking it off again. So I'm going to make sure I dremel this thing down pretty good this time so where it doesn't get stuck again. But thanks for watching, guys. I just wanted to show you the couple differences. And uh, this, this skid plate's actually wrapped around this gas tank so you don't have to drop the skid plate and the gas tank separately when you pull the skid plate it comes off with the gas tank and then it bolts to the gas tank which I thought was pretty cool it, make, it takes one less step out of this alright guys thanks for watching and I hope you learned something about the 06 TJ and the no fuel or fuel spill out of the filler neck problem if you guys have any questions just leave comments down in the comment section and I'll try to get back as soon as I can thanks for watching guys you guys can see I just I just use regular sandpaper and I sand those tabs the tiniest little bit and look how much smoother it is already. I mean it'll, it'll actually shoot out of there now. And I'm going to probably give it just a little bit more. I can feel it wiggle in there a little bit, but I'm going to give it a little bit more uh, in case it swells up again. But that's the that's the fix. Uh, I mean I know a lot of people are putting those uh, new filler necks and stuff like that on there, but this is the proper way to fix this uh, 0506 and up uh, fuel spillback or no fill problem. Once again, thanks for watching, guys.